it's opening morning. We just got up probably, I don't know, 40 minutes ago. Got everything thrown in the truck and uh, we're gonna go hit the trailhead and we're just gonna hike far and just try to locate out. We just got fogged out. There's a bunch of elk right freaking there. We had a bull bugling down here, had a bull bugling down here, a bull bugling over there. And now we just got fogged out. We're gonna have to wait this out for a while. Son of a... I thought that was gonna freaking happen there for a second.
Francisco. All right, we just got back to the camper. We didn't film coming off the mountain just because it was freaking raining and we just were trying to get off of there. But so slick. <laughs> yeah, it was pretty slick too. So I just chucked the camera in the bag and we took off down the trail. But we got steak and potatoes. Look at these guys. Brody just cut all those guys up. Oh yeah. And then I brought some elk steak right here. Look at that bad boy. That's from my bowl that was shot literally a week ago. So, we're going to be eating good tonight. Alright, well, woke up at like 4.45. And we're just going to go hit the trail. We're freaking tired. And it is going to be a muddy mess to get up this mountain. A long morning. <laughs> yeah. We just heard a bull bugle. We're going in after him. We saw his cows on the hillside for a split second. And he's bugling pretty dang consistently. So... Oh, no. I don't know. You may have got him. I couldn't tell. 
I can't see him. You got him? Huh? He's rolling down. He's rolling? Yeah, if you have another shot, hit him again. Is he down? For sure, for sure. Oh yeah, let's just sit here and watch him for a minute. He's right below that tree he was sitting in. You see his horn stick. I, I, I couldn't see the hit, but I saw him kind of stumble actually after into the trees. He was tumbling. He's dead. If you have another shot and he's standing, you shoot him. I, the cows are all looking up at him, so he had to have fallen. He's down. I can see him. You can see him? Dude, that's a good bull. That looks like a pretty good bull. That's the biggest bull we've freaking yeah, seen, dude. That is the biggest bull we've seen. There goes all the, the cows, man. Just stay on him. I think he was a six point. We really didn't have too much time to look at him, but Brody said he was big enough. He looked good. He looked good through the scope, so that's all that matters. Yeah, yeah. For a first bull, dude, he's, he's a heck of a bull, so we're going to go walk up on him. Oh, there's another cow, too. Just came running off the, the top. Coming to go check him out. Get him. They're getting there. Close. <laughs> He's got some mass. Look at that royal, dude. That's 310, 315 all day, baby. He's a seven by six. Look at that. Happy for you, dude. That's a stud. That's a freaking stud. What do you think? A little, little, little back, my shot. Let's see, that would've been, would been the entry, right? Yeah, I can see it would've been like that. No, I'm happy. Happy with him? I'm happy. I like that. I like that little forker he's got going on there. <laughs> like I said, I had him in the freaking in my in my scope, man. And I, when I saw him turn and look down towards us, I was like, it clicked. You're like, like that's him. Ready? <laughs> let's show him that tree. Let's let's take a little video of that. That bull was standing just basically right where Brody was, and he was raking the crap out of this tree. Yeah, hold them up, hold them both up. Just snap those <laughs> right in half while we were getting ready, which was nice because he probably th those elk couldn't hear us coming. Yeah. And he was just raking that tree, so we just snuck oh, up yeah. the bottom, got set up, and then uh, I'll show you right where we were at. We were like down, Man, I don't want to bring down in the bottom down there, and it was a 350 yard shot ish and uh brody double lunged him rolled down the hill sitting right there brody tell us about your bull man so this morning we you know started out like we did lat yesterday and just going up the trail and we heard these bugling last night and we're like oh right on so anyways we came back up this morning came through a bugle out he started talking and he got pretty fired up pretty quick and so we uh we just drowned a couple ridges over and we saw some cows and we're like, oh, it's gotta be right there. So we kept going, got up to a clearing where we could actually see and make a shot. And yeah, we look up and there's that bull just raking away up here on this tree and really tore it up. And so we got set up between two trees, it's pretty sweet. I was down there, perfect shot, or perfect setup for a shot and 350 yard shot. Freaking, I was ready. I was uh, pretty, I was pushing it. Yeah, he was antsy. I'm gonna come over here with you for yeah. a but. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, just take it easy. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm hurrying. I promise. I promise. So yeah, anyways, I uh, I had him in the scope for a good, I don't know, minute or two, and yeah, Kate gave me the go ahead, and I just pulled the trigger. Yeah. I tell him, I'm like, I'm like, yeah, okay, you're good, and I'm pulling up my binos, thinking it'd take him a couple of seconds to get his binos up, and it was like, boom, and I'm like, oh shoot. So I didn't even see where he hit, and I I was like, I think he missed. But then when I saw him get in the trees, I saw him kind of stumbling. I was like, no, actually, I, I think you did hit him. He so. tumbled, get 10 yards down from where we shot, 15, 20 yards or so. Yeah, he was, got a little worried. 
fire a second shot just to be safe. And I don't know if I missed, but he was he was done. He was out. So yeah, got her done. Got her Early done. Early morning. It was great. Yeah, I'm glad we didn't get it done yesterday. Yesterday yeah. was miserable getting that, that bowl out, but wet, slippery mess. Yeah. Today. We got plenty of time. Oh, yeah. Sun's out, and it's—I mean—it's still cool enough. This meat will be fine. We got all day to get this thing out, so Sounds all nice. downhill from here too, which is nice. Yeah, don't have Trails to pack up. Just right down there. <laughs> All right, well, we are packing her out. Brody's got the front shoulder and the head, and I've got a front shoulder and all the extras. So we're gonna get all that out in one trip and then head back for the hind quarters, get those out in one trip, and uh, hopefully get out of here before it gets too dark. I still think we got a lot of time, so. We should be okay.